For our final day of hikes, we decided to tackle the Syncline Loop. It's about 8.3 miles long with moderate elevation gain, but supposedly it has the title of having most of the park's rescues. We couldn't pass that up, and loops are just more fun than out and backs. This is just making us want to do it more. That way? There's a pile here though. Where's the There's a pile, so. I think it goes that way. Yeah, oh. this looks like a fence. I think this is a picture he showed us. <laughs> it goes up that way. Right here in the rock, there's a sign that says trail, and it just goes up. It's interesting, but let's give it a whirl. That was interesting. So far, I'm finding the northern route much more difficult. We had the impression the southern route was gonna be worse. Just cause on all trails it looks like there's more elevation change there. But northern route, much harder. So don't underestimate the northern part. And keep an eye out for these guys. Very important. In fact, here we go. We're gonna go up this. If you like bouldering, this is a lot of fun. Nothing too hard. A lot of fun though.
Here's a perfect example of narcissism and selfishness here. Keep off Arch, and we got one person up there. And it looks like more people are going to go up. At this point, if anybody else climbed onto the Arch, I was going to stand in front of it to ruin their photo for as long as it took. Capitol Reef National Park petroglyphs. Along here, you need binoculars or a zoom lens to get good photos. They're straight ahead in the center. It's just right at that break, big break off. It looks like some of it broke off, but there might be more all around. We'll keep looking. First up in the park were some petroglyphs. These were in great shape, but bring binoculars to really appreciate them. How come so many look like robots? Marmot crossing? At this altitude? We laughed at the sign because there was no way there were marmots around here. But seconds later, a marmot actually ran right in front of our car. We then headed home, taking in some scenic roads and into Las Vegas to enjoy a Cirque du Soleil show first. Thanks for joining us on this great trip. Our intention was to hit some not so famous places, but what we saw had us very impressed. Why aren't they as famous? There's a lot more out there than just the super popular crowded places. Have a great time exploring everybody.